If you have not yet registered to vote for the November election, you are quickly running out of time. Yes, the deadline is midnight tonight. In Travis County, the registrar is making a late push to get more voters registered. They'll have volunteers stationed until midnight at all Thundercloud substores in the county to assist with that registration process. Well, as you know, the population of Texas is always changing, and to adjust for that, once every decade, state lawmakers redraw your voting districts. So before you vote in November, you'll want to make sure you know who's representing you in government, making decisions that affect Affect your health, your money, and your child's education. KXNN's education reporter, Josh Hinkle, has this in depth look at the redistricting changes. Come on, let's go. Out for a morning stroll down the street from her Southwest Austin home. Come on, Major. Rondina Mackey knows it's only a matter of time before campaign signs start popping up along her path. For this voter, it's a way to let her know who's on the ballot. It's an informed vote, to not just to go in and push a button. But state lawmakers just went through the redistricting process and shook things up for Rondina. Now she'll have to vote in a new house district. Map makers drew new lines right through the middle of her neighborhood. Some are in the old house district 47, while others like Rondina are in the new house district 48. Here's a better look at the split in that area. Last election, it looked like this. Now it looks like this, two different districts. In fact, 25% of the entire county's population had to switch house districts as borders changed to this from this. I would structure our government priorities. Rondina's new district is the most different. HD 48 has a population where 60% of the people are new. It has shifted to being uh, a more democratic district. It's actually a little younger. Democrat Donna Howard, the incumbent, knows how important reaching those fresh faces will be. She won her last election by just four votes. You need to be out talking to the community, making sure that the constituents know who you are. She and her Republican rival Robert Thomas are dealing with a much more urban district district now anchored in the south. You do have to figure out a way to be able to touch all those people in that dense area. Rondina says so far she isn't familiar with either candidate and to win her vote she's going to have to get to know them first. So do you think there's going to be an increase in the robocalls and uh, <laughs> the leaflets? In southwest Austin, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. And these new redistricting maps are just temporary for this election. Legal battles are still playing out after the Republican-drawn maps came under fire for minority discrimination. So that means your district could change yet again the next time you head out to the polls. For more local districting news, visit Josh Hinkle's political blog at our website, kxan.com. It's located under the AT Expansion tab.